Welcome to TPM's 4-Minute Friday. Today using Revit, we're going to look at Revit's graphic filters. This is a tool set of uh, commands that allows us to select items not just graphically on screen, but once you've got data entered for your walls, your doors, your furniture, or other items, you can query off of that data. And what we're going to do here is a quick example. We're going to use it to indicate uh, rated walls, uh, something a lot of people ask for. So let's switch over to Revit and take a look at this. So here inside of Revit, you'll see uh, I've got a not too terribly complicated building. It's really a matter of showing you what's going to, how you're going to use this tool, how you can use this command. So once we're inside of Revit, uh, just to point out to you, I've got a standard, simple Revit wall on the exterior. And then on the interior, I went ahead and duplicated that wall. I named it one hour, but more specifically, under edit type, you'll see I've also indicated a one hour rating for that wall type. So with that wall type in place and the exterior wall in place as well, what we want to do is we want to indicate that wall graphically as being different, in this case, you know, being rated. To do that, we're going to go ahead and use our graphic overrides. So you'll see under here on the properties box, we go into edit, graphic overrides. And probably most of us have been playing with this under the model categories, possibly even the annotation categories, where we can turn on and off and change the graphics. But you will see that we have our filter command up here. If we switch over to filter currently, it's empty. So what we're going to want to do here is add a new filter. So by adding a new filter, we'll come down here. And you'll see, really, we only have one simple example out of the box. We're going to add uh, a new one. So edit new. Once inside of here, you'll see we have one of the rare times you'll actually see a button labeled as new inside of Revit. Most of the time, we have to duplicate an existing piece of geometry and then rename and then edit the data. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and pick on the new button, and we're simply going to call it uh, rated wall, and maybe go ahead and indicate it as being a one hour. And with that in place, uh, nothing's defined. All we've done is created the filter. We indicate from the drop-down list what items we want, architectural items, and then these are the categories that we typically see in our model categories. In our case, we want to use our wall command. And with the wall command, no, sorry, we're not using the wall command, we're using our um, wall category. With that wall category in place, we can then choose which one of these pieces of information we want to filter off of. And you can see all the data that's available for walls is pretty much available. And in our case, we're simply going to use the fire rating. And from here, we can specify where it equals a specific value or whether it's greater than or less than. You can see we could use things like areas or find materials that contain certain words. But in our case, we're simply going to say it uh, equals a certain value. We could go ahead and type it in directly, or you can see from the drop down, it will effectively browse through or show us all the data that's available or currently uh, uh, indicated in those data fields. So we'll use our one hour. We'll pick OK. And I do want to point out that what we've just done here over the last minute or so is probably something you're going to want to put in your template. You don't really want to do this every time. So we want to fairly, uh, fairly well standardize that process of having that filter already created. And once there, we can simply choose it, pick OK, make it visible. And in our case, we're going to change the graphics. We're going to make it red and go ahead and switch over to a solid filled color. And I'm not going to bother with halftone. So at this point, you'll see when we pick OK, in this particular view, we've been able to indicate a rating, or in this case, a rating, or some other uh, indication that shows something being different about our building, our walls, or our design that we're working on. So again, Using graphic filters allows you to grab data and information in the model that's not necessarily graphical based. Once you've got that, then you can indicate it differently, either for collaboration meetings or as a permanent part of your construction document. Probably not always going to be red, but it could be a black indicator or a gray half tone as well. So that's a quick demonstration of using Revit graphic filters. We appreciate your time, and thanks for taking a look at our 4-Minute Fridays. Thank you.